Hi, welcome, come on in. This is the Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory. We are the home of the Argonne Leadership Computing Facility. And what we do is we basically build supercomputers. ALCF is home to our newest, biggest supercomputer, Aurora. Aurora is one of the fastest supercomputers in the world. It will have a peak performance of about two exaflops. And so this computer is going to be really important. It's going to solve important problems in climate change, human health, material science, and here we are. This is Aurora. This is where the magic happens. So Aurora puts the super in supercomputer. Problems that used to take years to solve now just take days. Aurora is so big that we actually had to build this state-of-the-art building just to house it. Isn't it a great new building? Yeah, it does smell like brand new, mm. like a car. Yeah, but a supercar. Okay, so let's talk about Aurora's stats. There are 300 miles of optical cabling, so that would reach from Chicago to St. Louis. It covers 10,000 square feet, two NBA basketball courts. And Aurora is about 600 tons. That is as heavy as the biggest passenger airplane in the world. It has 160 racks that are eight feet tall and arranged in eight rows. And now let's look at one of the blades. All right. Each Aurora rack has 64 of these blades. We also call them nodes. And each node has six GPUs. That's these things here. And two CPUs with memory, RAM, which is these things here. And then we have networking. This rack, it's very, very heavy. And one really cool thing about this, the fact that, as you can see, there is a blue and a white. That's where water comes in. So the entire system is water cooled. The water will flow through these white tubes, cooling the GPUs and the CPUs, because it gets hot. How about we go and check out the mechanical room? Sounds like a great idea. Let's do it. Come follow us. This is the staff mechanical room. We're next to Aurora. Check out these pipes. There are 44,000 gallons of water flowing through the pipes and cooling down Aurora. And that's why Aurora is a water-cooled system, which is much more efficient than a fan-cooled system. Not only is the temperature important, the chemistry is important as well. If the pH isn't just right in the water, bacteria can grow, clogging up the pipes. I kind of feel like doing Mario in this room. <laughs> Well, a lot of plumbers work on these systems and they're really important to them running efficiently. That's super cool. I can work on Aurora from anywhere. I can log in right on my laptop, even outside. The things that I do at the facility is I support workflow tools. So I help our scientists run very complex calculations, many of individual tasks that are linked together on our computers. Welcome to this lab. This is where I work. So what we do with the visualization team is that we work with domain scientists, the people who actually use Aurora and run simulations, and we help them visualize their data so that they can get insights. You can think of us kind of like the Pixar of the scientific data sets. We're looking at, into a lot of things, for instance, human health. Material sciences. Climate change. Clean energy technology. Astrophysics. And cosmology. This is some of the science we do here in the Viz Lab with Aurora. So all the components we've seen together, they have to work together so we can have the two exaflops that Aurora has to offer. That's roughly the processing power of one million computers. And that's five times faster than our current fastest machine and a million times faster than machines of 20 years ago. That's the power of Aurora. <sighs> this is what happens when you invite somebody to your home. They never leave. You guys gotta go now. We've got work to do. Gotta go. Go, 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 go.